Outraged about the news, the government might be collecting data about who you're calling on the phone and how often you call them. We're talking the government collecting the information on millions of you. ABC 15's Christina Estes is in the newsroom with this one tonight, breaking down exactly what's going on here. And Christina, this reportedly involves a top secret court order. How did we even learn about this? Well, here it is, Katie. This is the court order. At the very top, it reads top secret. And at the bottom, it says it should be declassified in 25 years. But today, the British newspaper, The Guardian, posted it on its website. This court order is good for three months and it's renewable. It requires Verizon to give the National Security Agency information on all landline and mobile calls. Now, the order does not allow the government to listen in on those calls. Instead, Verizon hands over the numbers of both parties along with call times and duration. It allows the government to analyze for patterns or behavior involving what the feds consider suspicious numbers or networks of people associated with what they call communities of interest. I talked with some Valley Verizon customers to get their take. It makes me a little uneasy that they've been doing it for so long and we didn't know about it. Um, I think if you're going to hack into somebody's personal information that they need to be aware of it, especially if it's something that the government's involved in. It's an intrusion of privacy, but it's for a dedicated reason, a purpose, and it appears to have a significant amount of oversight in that it has to go through a couple of levels of layers of judges before uh, permission is given or granted. Now, neither Verizon nor the Obama administration would comment on this specific court order. Some members of Congress, though, say these kinds of records have been collected for seven years, and leaders of the House Intelligence Committee say that this particular program actually prevented one attempted terrorist attack. But privacy advocates call this overreach. They say the government is way out of line. And, Katie, we are just hearing new details about another program that the feds use to track people's online movements, and we'll have more details on that coming up after the NBA playoffs. Yeah, I was just seeing that developing story right now as well. Thank you, Christina.